What is up guys, Austin Richard here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing on with our gameplay here, where we are building my own version of Jurassic World, and as you can see here, this is what we worked on in the last episode, where we did the Herbivore Valley, is what I'm calling it, uh, but just a little playing with the gyrosphere station that goes all the way through, where we've got Patasaurus, Triceratops, and Gallimimus all roaming around freely in this pin here, this big long pin, and they're all happy and healthy and whatever. Um, so then over here, I start to build in the last episode all the pins for the rest of the herbivore groups so as you can see there um, I'm not sure how many more we got to go and then of course this is going to be where the bra uh, brontosaurus is I forgot what they were called or brach brachiosaurus brontosaurus brachiosaurus I can't remember what they're even called in the game yet um, over in here so we'll be working on this uh, probably today too and then I forgot to fill these up with a gallimimus and or the um, Struthiomimus and Arctheornithomimus, I believe is what they're called. But today, we've got some Crinosauruses ready to release here. I think we worked on those in last episode, maybe. We already have two Ankies roaming around in here, so I got to get them all tranked and everything to move into their new habitat. Go ahead and get that one. And then let's hope the other one will start to come out now. And then I started add just more random stuff i did work on the monorail i forgot to show that i'm pretty sure i updated that since last episode I still have these dillos running around in here Confirmed. was that the second one already or did i just miss oh no so let's start transporting these guys i'm pretty sure i'm putting them over here since that's why i did them the in this order So let's move these guys over. Then in this section, we will be doing the, I believe, the um, the Triceratops thing. So the things like Triceratops and everything will be going in here. The Stegos, I believe, in there. And then in this one, maybe things like the uh, Draco Rex, Diggy Mullock, and Parasaurolophus. Or Pachycephalosaurus, what I meant. Oh, I forgot about those. The one things. Ooh, I forgot about those. Well, of course, I mean, I still have more room. I can maybe find a way to stick them on in here. Not exactly sure. I may have to do a weird little configuration. Maybe stick those in there. The um, things like the parasol office, Myasasaur, um, Sinoceratops, all that sort of stuff. And then do a little weird thing over in here for the packies and stuff. Unless I say unless I do stick them in here, which I could maybe go ahead and like delete this fence and just give them this whole area to roam around in, maybe. That may be an idea. That's gonna be a lot of stuff in there though, but I think it'll work. I may do that because I don't feel like putting you know that. So I may stick them in there. I don't know. I have to figure out how many um, uh, carnivores we've got though too to see how many pins because I know a lot of them have to like live with one dino and stuff and so that's going to be pretty boring so I may need as much room as I can oh shoot I forgot to go ahead and start two new ones and so then so we've got the Anglosaurus we've got the Critanosaurus then the next will lead into Notosaurus have I done this yet so okay zero so we'll go I think we'll just do two of everything if they'll all work with two I have not done Polycanthus yet. So let's modify the genome here. I think I need to actually put the one thing. Yeah, I need to switch this back up. Asset transported. Asset delivery confirmed. Okay, now let's go back into Notosaur. I feel it should be all the way modified. What colors do I want to choose? Maybe a jungle? A jungle jungle? Again, you gotta check all the options to make sure I haven't changed them for any missions or anything. And the last one. Nope, okay. So those are all good, so we'll go ahead and incubate one, and then do another. Change the color, of course. What color? I think we'll just go, do I want step or arid? Maybe we'll do the arid, see if it adds any of that green. I somewhat doubt it. So we'll get those two going next. Let's check our little dinosaurs over here. We've got our Ankies. Well, an Anki. I don't know where the other one went. 
Oh, there it is. Eating. Eating some dinner. Nom noms. Nom noms. So then next... Oh, yeah. I can finish working on this while we're doing it. Now we need enclosures. This, I think, will pretty much... All be these things. Transportation complete. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Asset has been transported. Wish these things would build faster, so I. Actually, we'll put one. Bring it all the way over to here. And then put one right in the middle of them. Maybe right. It's not going to be directly in the middle, but I kind of place that one off to this side a little too much. Sure, let's just go with right there. and connect these paths because I think if I connect them I'll then show let's make fun little paths at least for that one just to go around that light pole Oh no, we got a disease. It'll be interesting. I want to see how it gets there. Oh, it's going the long way around. I'm surprised it didn't just go... Oh yeah, because there's no way for it to get through over here. This may be a thing I uh, go ahead and add a door. Like over here. And that way they can drive through there. <sighs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add another. So there you can see the view now right there and one more We're trying to get right in the middle there we go for the vehicle that had drive all the way around like it did it got there pretty fast I'm quite surprised with that let's see if we can maybe I somewhat doubt it let's see let's see if we can maybe add it here that still won't reach all the way over there Just Oh well. We've got pretty good coverage, just this area over in here. Which is expected because of all these buildings and everything. So that's not too bad actually. And we got the door there and there. So let's go ahead and I guess I'm trying to decide it because I feel like I want to put a gyrosphere station in here because it's going to be hard to see. Let's go. I forgot where they put that gyrosphere. Maybe let's try it. Just 
just try and do a whole ring around the outside. There we go. So we got that. So that'll be another little fun addition there. Now we can just add, oh yeah, we got to do water first. Probably should do the water just right in the center. A big old pond right in the center. And then we need feeders, which thankfully we have these. large supply feeders actually we'll put them in the corners here so that way they can be viewed a little bit better and I'll delete that one and maybe just one right here no, come on. See that. And then just trees everywhere. There we go, like that, and I do want to take some trees just out of the center there, just so it's uh, kind of open and everything. We should, these should say, yeah, these should be done now. At least those two. Come on, get out of there. Let's chop are these things. Notice or down. Adding task. There we go, got both of those. Now let's go with I believe it should yeah, polycanthus. Ooh, we'll go with a rainforest one. And once again, I assume they're all on the settings there you need to be, but I just want to check just to make sure. Okay. And then we'll change the color again. What other color should we choose? I'll go with Savannah on that one. So, uh, no. okay. Polycanthus to the, I don't know what these things are called. I need to look all this up. Cause I know they all like groupings have names. Like what I say, like ankylosaurids or something like that. But I don't know if that's true or not. I really need to move these to off sources somewhere. Um, let me go ahead and throw, because I say I can be using their pin as well to do this and move things a lot faster. Let's just go add that there. And I'll just trank all of these. Is that all there is? Is four? I thought there was more than four in there. But then I'll just move these guys over into here. Is that a little water pool or a giant one? A feeder. And we'll toss in some trees. Those guys like trees. Okay, and then I'll move all those guys over. So we've got that done. 
what else could we work on? I'm going to add some of the water into here. Again, this one will have a bunch of water because this is going to be what I call the duck build creatures. So they usually like a lot of water. You know, in general, because they're water based pretty much. So let's completely forest in all of this, then add little sprinkles around. And feeders. Asset has been delivered. Add those. Then we'll add some on the side over here too. That should be plenty enough for them. Because I know there's going to be a lot there. Then we need to start planning on... Oh, I didn't show the monorail. So the monorail... Um, I thought it looked way too crowded. Because technically I don't really even like this look. It feels too crowded in this area. By doing that. And so I had the one come up here. And then it curved around. And connected to this monorail station. Which is the one I had placed already. Um, but I, like I said, I thought it was too crowded. So I was trying to figure out. Well, how can I do this? And so... Um, my original plan was, or I saw that I could attach one off here. It'd be cool if you could do it to this one. But you could attach off here. So I brought it all the way around. And then attached it onto this one, which I think I had in the last episode. Because I think it went up and around. And then I had it. I can't remember if I made a full loop circle or whatever. But anyway, so I have it. So you can go over this way into the herbivore. So you have this little stopping point. This one. Here too, just because I was going to just keep it separate, but I saw they're pretty much lined up straight there and everything. It's like, oh, I can just connect those. Um, so I did that. But what I may, now that I'm thinking about it, I may move this monorail station down here. So that way we do have the carnivores there, herbivores there, and then put something in the center here. So this may be some, like off of here, some, I'm trying to think if I want to do like a big exhibit for like the T-Rex and Dominus Rex, something like that. Just something that would be, you know, a huge big attraction. Move all these the dillas we can use there. To the use the carnivore pin for herbivores. It's going to be asset. kind of crazy. Okay, those things are about done. But I just got to plan out the whole park. And this one should be about done as well. There we go. And release that one as well. So let's look at our little dinos. Of course, we can't add more. I know usually, like, there, you have to see that's almost got a full population. And that's just what doing too. But thankfully, I don't have the breakouts on, so no matter what, they won't break out of there. So that would be pretty fine and dandy. Got the monorail going around that area. Asset has been collected. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and. Oh snap. There we go. Oh my god, it's so loud right here. And I guess we could, instead of that, take it and curve it in here, because this one would be gone. May just kind of curve this around a little bit more. And then mess with this one as well. Get it to come out and then curve over. And then, like I said, put something big right here, right off the center of this. Of course, it won't line up because of the way the monorails. It's not, so it's not going to look perfect, but just take it right off here and put something big over in here. That may work out pretty good, but let's go ahead and... Drink these two. Adding task. And get the next two started. So we got the Polycanthus, so it's Soar, Pelta, and that's actually the last one. So I've not done any modifications on this. We'll go with Step, because I kind of like that a lot. Now let's go. So we got 88. 
make it an old person. 110. 132. 154. Can we hit 200? 181. And there we go, 208. We got it over 200. It's gonna turn into an old person. Now let's change the color again on it. Do I wanna do air? What's that one? Maybe wetland. Maybe it'll look cool. I don't really know on these things. Asset collection request received. And I thought the other one was down. Apparently not. Get knocked out. Oh no, it's right there. Oh, it's eating. It's so weird. They're so funny looking because they're like half dinos. Because like the front half looks different than the back half. There's all the dinos living happy and healthy, hopefully. They got a pretty big enclosure, but it's the smallest out of those four there. And I think they're all transferred out now. One, two, three, four. Comfort's pretty low because, yeah, they don't have, but they should not break out, hopefully. So let's go in here and we can start working for our next enclosure, which I think I decided was going to be the three horned dinosaurs. Actually, let's go ahead and just start working on these things. We'll do four of each. Ooh, we'll go with a vivid. Pretty sure they're already at their max. Let's just run through real quick just to check. Yep, all good. Now what next color should we choose? We will go with the rainforest. Oh yeah, those things are going. And then we'll just need to do two more and then we'll do the Arc or Struthiomimus because those are the Arc the ones. And then we'll just put them all in this enclosure here. And then like I said, I'll go ahead and get rid of this little thing. And this will all be the Packies. And I will need to add more feeders into here. So let's add more water since there's going to be more dinos. that transportation complete really apparently I needed to wait Yeah, that should be good enough. There we go. So that should all be good for him. And then we just got to get these two done to end it off. Let's go ahead and delete out that. No, because I said I wanted to decrease this curve on here. I like that. So this is going to be the herbivore or carnivore side, and this will be the herbivore over here. There we go, and the herbivores. So herbivores in the north, carnivores in the south. Let's release those two. Are these done yet? No, they're not. They need to speed it up. Let's go ahead and do our next arc theorda. So I've got the very bottom and the top one there. So let's go with maybe jungle. And then whenever this one clears out, 
we will do what's that other call I can't remember wetland that's what we'll do there we go so there's all our our Arctheornithomimus I think is what they're called if not oh well and are these things done yet nope So then, like I said, I will take something and put like something big over in this area. There they are. They're done. And I'm pretty sure that's the last of those. At least I hope so, because if not, I shouldn't have done the other things. Oh, look how cute it looks. Shoot in the face. Sauropelta, is that what it's called? I don't remember dinos. Please. Sora Pelta. Look at that bike. Giant spikes on it. You're missing. You're missing. You're missing. You're a horrible shot. And then once those get tranked, we can move them over here to their home with all the others. Which should be uncomfortable or just about. Yeah. Once these two are added, they're going to be uncomfortable. the asset. Come on, go down. There it goes. In running motion. Acknowledging asset collection request. There we go. And now these two are ready. And they can be released as well. There we go, and then we'll move those to their new home, and everything should be all good. Let's just do a run through here real quick. So we've got the Ankies, the Critanosauruses, none of those. Polycanthus, Notosaurus, we did both those. Sauropelt was the last one, and yeah, that looks like that's about it. So that, once they get fully transported, um... what I was gonna do. Oh, I'll go ahead and just do the other things real quick while they're getting Struthiomimuses. We will go with Rainforest. And once again, I'm pretty sure they're as old as they can be. They don't have many options. Yep. We'll go with Rainforest. And so we, yeah, we'll probably skip Tundra. I don't like the way that looks very much. And Savannah. For those two, let's see, are they transported yet? Nope, almost there. Almost there and we can finish off the episode. So we've got the whole, again, whatever it's called, you will see it probably labeled as the title of the video. Um, but I can't think of what they're called now, and I'll have to look it up. But the home with all of the ankylosaurus type dinos with the armored shells and spikes and everything, as you can see there, all living in that enclosure. And then I finished off the brontosaurus, or long necks, I should say, enclosure that all go in here. So brontos, kamarasauruses, mamichisauruses, I think of what they're called. And then we got the hydro, I think hydrosaur is what they're called since they're water, um, ducky, duckbills or whatever will go in here. And then I decided, like I said, to do the big dino closure over here for carnivores. Maybe different because I'll probably start over here and work my way around. And so I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I'll just leave it there for now. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it because I was thinking I can do what something there and then whatever the other. So like if I want to do the, um, maybe I can do the Indoraptor and Indorex in this area. Obviously not together, but um, do that and then maybe a T-Rex over in here just because they're like, you know, bigger attractions and everything. So maybe I can put those into there. Go ahead and release these two. 
Okay, so they should have landed by now, so let's take a look at them. Oh, I don't want to click the dino. No. There we go. There we go. We've got our view of our, what again, whatever they're called. So there we've got Notosaurus, uh, Sauropelta, Cridnosaurus, and Inkies are all the way over there. Let's take a look at this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased there we to go. Um, Sarpelta? No. I forget what those things are called. What are you called? I'm just forgetting right now. Anki, Anki. Again, whatever that thing is. Critanosaurus there. So yes, this is our enclosure again. Like I said, whatever it is called. It was what the label would be as. Are they happy with everything else besides population? Yes. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. I just was on those NS2. Just want to make sure they're all happy with everything, but so like there were uh, grasslands, Polycanthus, that's the thing I couldn't think of. Sarpelta is good. It's the same one, or same type, and Christ. Oh, that's Sarpelta again. Yes, they're all good. Okay, so I don't need to add any more trees or anything like that to the enclosure so that i think is going to be it for today so in the next by the next episode all will have all of these things transported into their home over here and then we will start working on the triceratops and maybe this since i have two enclosure or two whatever since we're using two hatcheries now i can start moving do multiple things I kind of want to get this one done because they're my favorite type of dinos and then the triceratops versions over there and then just move along and then I'll start working on some sort of enclosures over here for our, all of the carnos and everything to go in but I need to figure out how many carnos I have and can do and everything but that's going to be it for this episode today so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the new um, anky type dinos added into the park and of course added now with our uh herbivore valley here so we're gonna start getting you know more people brought in there it is it's like i know there's four in here somewhere and so we're just getting our park built up slowly but surely but i don't want to rush it because um there's for me at least i don't really have many ideas of what to do so i plan on doing this Oh, they're all the way in the back there. Um, doing this sort of. Ooh, let's ride the monorail. There's Herbivore Valley. That's pretty cool. Look at all the Galmimuses there gathered together. And kind of the Patasauruses too. Um, but besides the uh, challenge modes, which I will be doing at least two videos. Um, probably like an easy or something like that and then do a try Jurassic but just finding the time to do it is what's the issue but I will be doing that so other than this I don't really have many ideas of what to do and everything and there's our right oh that one's going that way I can't see the views there it goes like my I was wanting to see a better view but I don't see any more monorails just this one going over this way which is nothing to view um but yeah so i just want to try and take my time so it's just going to be doing you know a couple things every episode and stuff and trying to finish building out the park and everything so nothing too extravagant going on just to see how i build up the whole park and stuff is what this is all about and everything but i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to let me know leave a thumbs up down below leave any comments you have or suggestions or anything especially for carnivores like um if I should put mul like certain types together, like I know um, Dilophosaurus can can live with other stuff and everything, so um, let me uh, give me suggestions of what I can put with them or what I should put them with and everything. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Jurassic World Evolution videos, and we will see you next time. Thank you for visiting our park. Room.